Hey Scott, how's it going, man? My name is Chris Heckman, and I'm a private label seller myself. Uh, and I've been listening to your podcast for months and months now. At this point, big fan of all the stuff you're putting out. Uh, you're a huge inspiration to me. I listen to your, listen to it just about every day on my way to work. So uh, thanks for being you and all that you do. Uh, but my question for you is: uh, I have a product that I believe that I needed to get certification to sell in the United States. But long story short is that it just came back as it failed the specific certification for being too magnetic or something along those lines. But the weird part is that there are people who are selling the same product or similar product, not the exact same on Amazon. Uh, and it's pretty much the same thing that I'm selling, but I failed the certification. So my question for you is, do I really need to get certified? And if so, how do I go about finding which certifications and product warning labels do I need on my packaging? Uh, so if you could help me out with that, that'd be awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, Chris, thank you so much for the question. It's a good one, by the way. And uh, yes, it's pretty important that you understand that stuff. And I believe what you're talking about is like certification, meaning like your product, if it's being sold in the United States or whatever you know country that you're in, there's going to be certain guidelines, FDA approvals, like stuff like that. Yes, you can you can reach out to your manufacturer and ask them for their certifications. And if they already have been certified, then that will help you. Um, let me just say, though, this is probably a question for an attorney or someone with liability insurance experience. Like that would probably be someone that I would reach out to and ask. Now, why are other people selling without or you know saying that they have certification or maybe without certification? That's just because. They're doing it. I mean, you know, we can all, uh, you know, we can all sell uh, and not necessarily have that certification. Um, or we can sell a product that's patented, technically, right? But you know, we're going to get caught and we're going to get in trouble. The problem with your product uh, that you're trying to sell that that could be a major problem is if you have something that could harm someone, and then they come back and say, "Well, you weren't certified, so you're clearly in the wrong." Well, now you got major problems. So that's why I say like an attorney or someone that's dealt with liability insurance or that has that information that can guide you, I think that would be a good phone call. The one I'm going to give you is Michelle Love. Actually, I met her at one of our TIS Breakthrough Live events. She's actually a student of our PLC, but she's also a liability insurance broker, and she's been running you know, her business for over 20 years, I believe her and her husband. And uh, yeah, I mean, so she knows all about this, and liability insurance is something that she also offers, um, which I wasn't even aware of until after our event. Um, so I would listen to episode 293 or just go to... 293 episode 293 that is and reach out to Michelle she's very willing to uh to help anyone out that has any questions so I would definitely reach out to her because she does know a lot about that and she can tell you probably like what you will need or what to be aware of because uh you're gonna have to get liability insurance at some point too so that's gonna be a phone call anyway so that's where I would probably start um and then from there I would probably reach out to an attorney and uh and see about that and uh, you know, let them guide you. But the main thing is is understanding what you what is required, what you need to have, and then also what will help you be protected. As if anything or if anything was to happen, you're uh, you know you're definitely doing things by the rules. I would not look at it as far as like, well, on Amazon, there's already people selling in this category, and they're technically you know they have all the certification, or maybe they don't have the certification and they're still selling. Don't look at that as that's an approval for you to do the same thing. Um, like I said, there's people right now that are selling patented products that haven't been caught yet. And once they do, they could have $30,000 of inventory and then they're going to be hand, they're, they're going to be sitting there, you know, uh, wondering how they're going to get rid of it. And that's a major issue. So you want to definitely be careful with anything with certifications or patents or any of that stuff. So hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you again for being a longtime listener, a fan of the show. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I, I want to just hear more from you in the future as far as an update. That would be awesome. And I would really appreciate that. And again, thanks for being a listener. So well, hey there. Thank you so much for listening to that episode of Ask Scott. Now, that was just a highlight from one of our full episodes where I generally answer three to four questions on a podcast. 
If you want to go back and listen to all of the past archives of not just the Ask Scott session, but all of the full episodes where I do interviews with top Amazon sellers, people starting from scratch and building a business, if you want to listen to any of those episodes, head over to TheAmazingSeller.com and you can find all of that over there. You can also find details there on how you can ask your own question and get it aired on an upcoming Ask Scott session and possibly see it here on YouTube or just on the podcast. All right, so definitely head over to TheAmazingSeller.com. There's tons of resources over there for you to be able to build your e-commerce and Amazon business. So definitely go check that out. Now, I just wanted to remind you one thing before I let you go. There's a lot of information out there and some of it is really, really good. But what I want you to remember is you have to not just consume the information, you have to actually apply that information. So take this information that you learned here today and apply it to your business. And this way here, you can get results. As my shirt says, I wear it almost daily. Take action. We'll see you guys.